All right. What's next? Over the last few days, the three major film critic groups from Los Angeles, New York, and Boston all gave out their annual film awards, and they all had one thing in common. All three groups gave their Best Picture of the Year award to the same film, Spotlight. In 2001, editor Marty Barron of the Boston Globe assigns a team of journalists to investigate allegations against John Geegan, an unfrocked priest accused of molesting more than 80 boys. Led by editor Walter Robbie Robinson, a team of reporters interview victims and try to unseal sensitive documents. The reporters make it their mission to provide proof of a cover-up of sexual abuse within the Roman Catholic Church. The film stars Michael Keaton, Mark Ruffalo, Rachel McAdams, and Liev Schreiber. John, did these critic groups get it right by naming Spotlight the best film of the year? Yes, they did. Yes, they got it right. Now, that, that's not to say that Spotlight is necessarily going to be my number one film of the year, but it's one of those things where it's like, okay, it might not be my pick, but it's so good that you can't really argue against it. So, like I said... Spotlight may not end, be, uh, end up as the number one film on my film of the year list, but it's so high quality. It's so good that I have no qualms. It's, it's not like they came out of left field and named Krampus Best Picture of the Year. <laughs> In which case, they would say, no, they did not get it right. But it, this is one of the right choices. It, it really is. I was floored by the craftsmanship of this movie. We were talking a little bit beforehand in our pre-production meeting that you know, you're watching this film, and it's one of these films that has a lot of names, a lot of characters, a lot of things going on. And it's one of those movies, we've all seen those movies where we have a hard time keeping up with, wait a minute, who's he talking about now? And we just, we get so confused, we just focus on the main character and follow them along. The director of the thing, Tom McCarthy, um, did such a masterful job telling this story, pacing it, and isolating it in certain ways, different characters and isolating them in certain ways, that as an audience member, you never felt lost despite the sheer amount of information that was being thrown at you. They found a way to tell the story in a way that was dramatic, exciting. These are reporters sitting at a desk talking on the phone, and yet I felt excitement as you felt them drawing closer to uncovering the things they need to uncover. The performances, forget about it. Mark Ruffalo turns in, you know, it's funny, I don't hear anybody talking about Mark Ruffalo for any of the major awards. But I'm telling you, for me, he turned in one of the performances of the year. Liev Scheiber turned in one of the best performances I've ever seen him given, and it's a very subtle Mm -hmm. role. It's very reserved, and seeing a guy who normally comes across as so powerful on screen, playing that role. Ke- Michael Keaton is Michael Keaton. What did you want? Of course he's going to bring it. So he brought Rachel McAdams was dynamic. Stanley Tucci was fantastic. I mean, across the board, even the, the smaller minor players did such a terrific job of convincing me, told masterfully by a great director, made all the more powerful and oomph to it when you realize this is all real stuff that happened. They did such a great job. So for me, I applaud them, and I think we just found our new Oscar frontrunner. Schnapp, what about you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I thought when I saw it last week, emotionally moving, horrifying that it's all true, and especially made more horrifying at the end of the film, they list off all the different priests all around the world that the Vatican was hiding. And it's just, it's a horrifying thing. Uh, Child abuse is one of the worst things can possibly uh, happen to anyone. And this film is, is really, it's a, it's, it's such a well-told story about this news division, the Boston Globe, the division was called spotlight. And every time they would put a little spotlight on something, they worked on this ceaselessly and tirelessly. And, and and the way that the, the Tom McCarthy put it together, uh, he ratchets it up. Like every, 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 every 10, 15 minutes, you're like getting closer and closer to the truth. And it's this really massive cover up. And it's it's not about religion. It's about embarrassment and like hiding, hiding things that look, we don't want to talk about this. Let's look, let's talk about the positive things. You know, it's sort of like that kind of like cover up that is happens so, so much all the time. It's that's what I found really interesting and, and, and also horrifying about this film. The acting in it is top notch. Rachel McAdams, like you said, Mark Ruffalo, incredible performances as the, the two lead reporters. Keaton, uh, the guy from Mad Men, all the every single actor who was involved just gave it their all. I, I can't say anything negative about this film other than it's heart wrenching, and it, it definitely it's it's in the Oscar race for sure. I don't know if it's in my top number one for the Oscars, but it's in my top five right now. There's still a lot of films I haven't seen yet, but man, if you haven't seen Spotlight, go out and see that right now. It's a really amazing film. Mark? Spotlight for Best Picture, boys. Um, <laughs> it, it totally deserves everything it's earning, and I liked it, even though I might have like. 
The Martian or Ex Machina or Creed or maybe Star Wars or The Revenant be higher than that on my top 10 of the year list. I love that Spotlight is getting the spotlight because it deserves it. And it's maybe lesser known about than some of these other movies that are going to be contending for Best Picture at the Oscars. It totally deserves to be seen by everybody. The expert craftsmanship that went into making this movie, all the conversations are brilliantly composed, the way the shots are set up. And again, a boring poster can make for a really intriguing movie. And you do leave with a sense of ickiness just about the subject matter. But after that washes off, you think, man, that was really a great achievement. And it's a movie that's important. It says something. I like when those movies get recognized. Yeah, and I'm a sucker for true crime. Like, right. maybe not, not mm-hmm. necessarily heist, but true crime. And as like I said, as they approach it, they, the director found a way to, as I mentioned before, people talking on the phone and writing notes and reading newspaper articles to feel exciting. I don't know how you did that. Now, the other interesting thing about this whole story is that while these three major critic groups all gave the Best Picture Award to Spotlight, it was pretty much a cro- it was pretty much a, a wild west with everything else. Almost everything was different. The one kind of constant was uh, Paul Dano won Best Actor for two of them, for two out of three for his uh, portrayal in Love and Mercy, and Michael Fassbender won the third critic group for his portrayal in Jobs, and Alicia Vikander won Best Supporting Actress for Ex Machina in one critic category, and on another critic list, she won for Best Breakout Role for um, the new one she has coming out with Eddie Redmayne, The Danish Girl. Uh, For that, so that was it, but besides that, you know, actress, supporting actress, uh, almost everything else. There were three, out of the three groups, three different best directors were named. One was Tom McCarthy for uh, Spotlight. One was George Miller for Mad Max for Your Road. And I can't remember who the third one was. But it was completely all over the place, except they all agreed on Best Picture. And I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, folks, we reached that part of the show now for Buy and Sell. Here's how this works. In front of him, Mark's got a few other items in the world of movie news. He's going to run them down. All of us at the table are simply going to say whether we buy it or sell it. So, Mark, what do we got? I saw you saying in front of her, Mark has... Did I say her? Yes. No! I'm a beautiful dog. Oh, my gosh. But Sorry. I am technically it's male. It's so ingrained. It's, it's so like riding a bike. <laughs> it's muscle memory. Sorry about that. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.